Thank you so much for just giving us a couple of minutes. Now, Stuart, can I ask, what are the two most memorable achievements that you've had so far? Because you've had just so many, and I saw your photo up on the wall on a gold medal um, at the Sydney Olympics, and I thought, I think that would have to be probably, if I was at the Olympics in my own home country, winning a medal, I think that would be pretty special. Yeah, absolutely. It's That's the thing. In your own country, in your own city, it's just a fantastic feeling, and the crowd was amazing, and it'll be... It won't happen again. No, but we'll try to win <laughs> probably won't in any of our lifetimes. So try to win another gold medal, though, but it won't be the same as that. So can I ask, what would was that? Would that be sort of up there as one of your most memorable times? Oh, absolutely. Yep, yeah, very, very much. And of course, marrying my beautiful wife. Oh, yeah. good, good <laughs> answer. I like. Well, good you're answer. very much a um, a team in terms of um, the tinning eventing. It's very, very much a family, um, you know, group. And you both work very, very hard. So, will you both be? Um, how or how, Karen? Do you support Stuart in terms oh. of the like, build build up to London? Um, I think I'm a quite a good filler. I fill in everywhere. I fill the gaps. So. <laughs> If there's a horse to be ridden, I can ride. If there's a lesson to be taught, I can do that. I can organise, look after the kids, manage Stuart. I'm a good filler. I just do, I'm, yeah, jack of all trades, really. Well, you married a good woman there, Stuart. So may I ask, what is the process now for both of you in, term, in terms of London? Well, the process pretty much is to try to get selected. That's where it's at now. There's selections are coming in the middle of June, so still some events in Europe to be had and sort of get the horses fit and ready and hopefully get selected. That's the next step. And can I ask you one thing? I've seen your horses with those skins. I know they're not called skins, but Hides. for yes, yeah, for, the, for, for the people in the um, you know day-to-day -day world, the 2XU version for the horse world, how do they fit on a horse? Well, quite well, really. They've just got uh, five zips, so zip up each leg and big zip up the tummy, and they're very, very easy to put on and very, very it easy. It's ingenious. Mm. Yeah, so Are great. you one of the only riders in the eventing world using them? No, we've actually got them out, especially at Sydney event that was just on, to the elite riders and... That it's fantastic. There, no? And do you notice a, a, a difference? Because I notice a difference when I just run in my 2XUs. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I presume that a horse will, will probably feel the same? Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. I've got some skins myself and they're amazing, make amazing difference to me. So that seems to be the it's same. It's absolutely thing. ingenious. Well, Team Tinny, good luck for the upcoming um, London Olympics. Thank and thank you so much for just giving us a couple of moments. Oh, Bye. Pleasure. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. bye. bye.